Welcome back to Colony Wars. Last time we saw the canonical end where, at some point, the League definitely was defeated within Sol and then the Empire tore itself apart after the War Pole was sealed. For this video and the next, we're going to see the best ending, which had its own version of a sequel hook, but, well, we'll see that when we get there. So let's jump right into it. We were inside the enemy's home. It was indescribable. They'd been ready for us, but we were so fired up and fueled by self-belief that we managed to seize the Sol battle platform ready for the ultimate Earth strike. We regrouped and tried to keep our minds off the dangers. There was no chance of sending out any scouts. The whole system was crawling with Navy craft. And however powerful we felt, we were still just tiny blips on their scanners. But with our supply channels in place, we were getting bigger. From here on, it's unmitigated success, Concerted no failures. So being taken we, we took that platform, no problem. Right. Planetary zones. Those centers responsible for the manufacture of arms are targeted in particular. The Empire Command appears to be transmitting contradictory messages to its fleet, indicating a degree of confusion. It is hoped that continued raids can exacerbate this situation. There are a number of ecospheres attached to an arms orbital in the Jupiter zone. Tractor beams are used to maintain the link. Destruction of these installations would represent a weakening in the Navy's military supply chain. You are required to attack the ecospheres and the arms orbital. All targets must be destroyed. Be aware that defense measures are likely to be intense. Now, an arms orbital is a gigantic automated factory producing ships and other weapons. I don't know what the ecospheres are, but uh, you gotta destroy those too. They actually look pretty good. I would assume they're some sort of hydroponics pod or something. I don't know. You could actually see the the inside of them when you if you align with the top. Oh, neat. F L A C K. <laughs> All the right. more I pay attention to it, the more it just bugs me. <laughs> ever since, like, ever ever since we saw the every every time they say "your," it's "you are." Sure. Yeah. Depressing. You know, I like how the tractor beam is this sort of universally understood science fiction thing. Yeah, Star Wars made it great. Sure, but it's it's never. It, it's so well known that no one feels the need to explain it anymore. It's, it's a tractor beam. You know what it does. It holds things. It attracts them. Sometimes you can see it like these green lines, and sometimes it's just not there. Sure, yeah. So they take a These things are actually pretty durable, but uh, you can mm -hmm. see the inside here. It actually looks like yeah. a place people would be living. Yeah. It sucks to be them, I guess. Wow, that makes your ship look enormous, because those are like... Yeah, I don't really know what these are for, but they're there. Also, this one's got a cargo transporter on it for some reason. I don't know why. This is, I think this is like the only time we actually get to uh, legitimately kill a cargo transporter. Is it optional? I mean... Uh, no, everything needs to be exploded. Alright. Whether, whether that's actually required or not, it doesn't matter. It's getting exploded. <laughs> it's blue. I understand. I do, I do appreciate, though, that in Vengeance, like, your enemy targets will be green targets. And in this game, your, your enemy targets are blue. Yeah, but since you're yeah. a Navy pilot in the next game, it's, it's still kept the colors. I thought that was neat. Right. They did that in TIE Fighter. All the uh, Empire stuff is red because X-Wing came out before it and they used red for bad guys. Nice. Named targets have been released to this is a command. this is the fa if you fail the last one you go here but it really doesn't look like a fail mission because it just seems like hey we need to do this but you can see that we've got the new ship there too in the Jupiter zone is known to be carrying implants required by League intelligence he will switch to a destroyer by means of an APC you are required to intercept and capture the commander before delivering him to a League dreadnought in the vicinity destroy the APC an escape pod containing the commander will be released. The pod must then be successfully captured. That seems like quite a gamble. I mean, what if he doesn't make it to the pod? Uh, he's high ranking. He's a high ranking Navy Imperial commander. I think he's the only one with an with an escape solution. Yeah, but what if you just? I don't know. 
your first hit takes the pot offline. Who knows, man? No, no, it's it's okay. It seems like a lot of options. It's okay. Okay, all right. I can't destroy the fleet craft though. The uh, the destroyer and the dreadnought are invincible. Oh, that kind of annoys me. That's weird. Usually they just fail you the mission rather than make it literally invincible. Man, that ship is huge though. Yeah. APC launch detected. I like how neither of them actually care that our own dreadnought is over there. No, it's, it's just it's doing its thing. It's fine. Uh, the Eclipse functions like a demon in Hydra in one. You got the grapple gun, but no torpedo. Like, we got the plasma torpedo, but no anti-shield solution. Mm -hmm. But I get EMP guns, scatter, and lasers. Are the ships all roughly the same speed? No. Um, the bomber is the slowest. The, sure. the vampire is the fastest. This one moves pretty fast. All right. Because this one moves. seems noticeably quicker than... Well, it is a stealth craft. Sure. Oh, and speaking of, uh, while it is the stealth craft, I don't think the stealth actually does anything. Like, if there's some kind of noticeable benefit, I don't know, because like I said before, I think the flak is uh, pre-coded. Oh, there's a pod. Yeah. Looks way bigger than the APC, by the way. Well, you know, luxury and all that. Uh, is there an unlimited number of enemy fighters in this mission? I believe so. They keep launching from that dreadnought. All right. And it took about two minutes to get this over here, I'm pretty sure. And it took way even longer for him to even reel it in, because... I reasons. do like how, even though they have these endless reinforcements, they still decided to send their really valuable guy out there, instead of just waiting for you to be worn down and killed. Or sending, like, a huger fleet out? Sure. Pod safely delivered. We have Navy leader in custody. Well done, pilot. Mission complete. Always All a right. different voice, always. I, it never gets old. Thanks, thanks, Missouri. <laughs> Missouri. Okay. I don't know. Where were you guys? Oh, yeah, stealth. Sure, track. they were so stealthy, even you didn't know they were on the mission. Well, apparently I'm high-ranking enough and trusted enough to be piloting this thing, so I should know. Following successful violation of key positions within the Jupiter zone, further maneuvers within this area are now necessary. Navy forces are having to transfer from outer regions due to sudden depletion I heard, uh, of resources. When I, when I was watching the credits for this game, they, they referred to the briefing guy as also an AI voice, which I don't want to believe, because... He doesn't sound like it, like a co computer voice like the lady does. To be established on the yeah. Starport. No, I refuse As to believe that uh, my, bro my brother in arms here is an AI. <laughs> forces will need to successfully right. attack Mr. Apathy, as we know him. Yeah. Ensure that the starport shields and sensors are overwhelmed prior to... So you know that mi those missions APC where we had to bring down the battle platform with the MP guns and APC it? it is starport. These defenses okay. Are knocked out. So this mission is if you had succeeded at the first one, you would go here. Yeah, these would be the first missions you get to pilot the Eclipse on if, you just, if you're just winning the entire game. Sure. So they, they really wanted to give you a chance to play around with it at this point. Well, it would be kind of disappointing if you didn't. It would also be disappointing if we didn't shoot down the uh, equivalent craft, the Spectre. Yeah. I gotta say, I like the Spectre's gimmick more. It's more interesting. Yeah, taking on the form of other ships because mm -hmm. it uses holograms. Meanwhile, yeah. our ship is just... You have to get visual contact because it doesn't actually cloak. It just it disrupts radar signals. Yeah, it just that doesn't actually display itself in the gameplay at all. So. It doesn't, yeah, because I'm going to get close to somebody anyway. Right. But hey, I mean, if you wanted to be all ma like Mass Effect Normandy and just be undetected on radar and all that crap, hey, there sure. you go. You've got that in small fighter form. And this starport takes a while to, to uh, knock down with the MP. Yeah. It's a lot of energy. Yeah, I like to see that uh, the little docking port open up and launch a fighter out. That's kind of neat. Yeah, he ain't doing that anymore. Oh. See how long this takes? Holy crap. Defense grid is down. We are launching APCs. And you're not exactly in a crappy ship. Grapple gun. Pro strats, yeah. right here. <laughs> Alright. I, I I've noticed something about the uh, the lock on at last, like when I was playing, is that you have to aim the uh, circle above their craft before it it will never lock on if you actually put them in the circle. Which uh, doesn't make sense to me. But. So uh, they can't have the starport. They're just gonna ram a frigate right into it. Sure. We must protect our gains. Destroy enemy frigate and remaining fighter force. But uh, we've got a great we've got a great ship here. That's not gonna happen. Sure. Especially since I've got EMP guns. 
if you EMP it, does its engine shut down? And oh, just yeah. Running? It's yeah. dead in the water at that point. Can't do anything. I love this music sped up. <laughs> do you notice how its engine, like, inverts like that when it blows up? Yeah. Just the way they handle the, uh, the explosion. Mm-hmm. Catastrophic feedback loop. Catastrophic explosion loop. I just love seeing the gigantic arcs of lightning just streaking over the thing. Sure. When you're when you're at a distance, it looks even more pronounced. You might remember that from the last from the last mission when we captured a clone craft and that frigate was in the distance that I had to disable. Enemy activity within all interplanetary zones is now known to be increasing rapidly. Intelligence scans are attempting to detect signs of panic within civilian populations. Where these are noted, League propaganda transmissions will follow. Anti -location yeah, we watched that Colony Wars Vengeance intro. Vile, spreading vile propaganda sure was correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, it is known that the League command craft in the Mars zone is being targeted by a Navy fleet. Currently attempting to outrun two enemy cruisers, the command craft is in need of urgent assistance. Provide gotta help, we gotta help Mr. Apathy's twins out again. Yeah. You know what I think would, would help would be a, a some sort of system map to give you an idea of where these things are taking place. Because it just sort of drops you in these kind of disjointed missions. Yeah. I mean, I get that it's space and there's no real topography, but I don't know. But there would be at least a, a map of, like, you'd have a solar system map say, hey, you're in this area by this planet. Yeah. Destroy if you can. Uh, that's got to happen. It's not going to sure. go away if these cruisers don't stop. Right. Maybe if you EMP them and leave them there forever, it might win. I don't know. So but it's uh, kind of boring. These, thing, these things uh, have some pretty killer flak. Yeah, you're almost out of shields already. And, you know, ramming into it like that <laughs> isn't helping. It's uh, it's otherwise uh, really simple. Just destroy two capital craft. Sure. So no fighters on this mission, huh? Oh, they're attacking the command craft, but it's it's durable. All right. I never get to actually dock with them. Okay, that was cool. That was a cool cutaway. That was neat. Yeah. Incoming data oh hey, uh, you remember the mining station? The process of using uh -huh. highly coercive yeah. techniques to increase the size of defense forces on inner system planets. While the volume highly of resistance to our activities, what, you mean like a draft? Well, uh, you didn't. Want, you probably didn't see the Draco system information, but there, there, there was a uh, some industrial unrest on a planet, and uh, the, the Navy's response was so cat like intense that uh, there were two incidents, thusly named the Night of Pain and the Last Emasculation. A valuable cargo transporter is now approaching this region, and requires armed protection. Fly with the transporter and provide military support should the craft run into difficulty. League bases are in need of constant supplies. We cannot afford to lose these resources if our threat is to be maintained. I'm sure we could. I mean, we have these overpowered fighters. This is Cargo Transport 010. This voice. Welcome, pilot. No interference detected at the moment. We are continuing the destination on planned course. There's that mining station, uh, there it is. disused, they say. Uh, right, yeah. But uh, you can look on the map, there's... Oh, it's moving, look at that. That's funny. How does something like that move? It's built into a giant rock. I don't know. Not a lot of friction in space. Still plenty of inertia. We are under attack. She's so calm about it. <laughs> Almost like she might be really noticing it. Well, no reason to get all worked up. You're yeah, and it's, good. it's turning a laser on us now. Yeah. They said they're sending a dreadnought in. When it gets here, uh, it actually doesn't do anything. It's entirely possible for the mining station to uh, destroy the dreadnought, which is probably the most embarrassing space engagement <laughs> that you can imagine. <laughs> So it's just a big, I don't know, poorly 
Yeah, it's just a big sphere with gun turrets on it, I mean. And a big laser yeah. that's just doing things with Sure. Oh, just, and just you, shoot it anywhere. Shoot it in the rock. Yeah, you, I was going to say, you mentioned that like when we first started doing this. Just shooting it at the rock and I somehow destroyed it. You have to destroy this, by the way. If you of don't, course. It's, just, it's game over. Man, wait till you see some mining stations in Call of Duty Wars Vengeance. It's going to get even crazier than that. <laughs> Crazier than it destroying a dreadnought, I promise you that. I like how built up that asteroid is. I assume the station is meant to mine that asteroid. And they've basically built over the entire thing that they're mining. Well, I, I assume it's also to be in the middle of a field to mine the other asteroids. Masteroids as well, yeah, sure, I'll go with mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Masteroid. Great work, mission complete, come aboard. <laughs> Command, please. Please don't drink while on the mission command. We had done well. Whatever happened, the League had broken the Empire's grip throughout the colonized worlds. To that extent, the job was done. But that wasn't enough. We knew the father and the Tsar remained on a collision course. The father could never accept a universe in which the Tsar still exercised his doctrines of greed and theft. As for the Tsar, his huge armed forces spoke for him. We wondered what else he might be ready to add to the argument. There was still much to be done before we could silence him forever. His huge armed forces spoke for him. Wonder what else he might be ready to add to him. I don't know, I just really like that line. Emergency it's perfect. Navy battalions have been drawn from loyal communities on Mars and Jupiter. I gotta say, I'm a little surprised that they haven't actually talked about the father at all. Not really. We know exactly as much about him now as we did when we started the game. He came out of somewhere and he leads the League. That's, that's it. He's just an Adolan figure. Constant mm. ammunition runs are required. In addition, uh, there was there was discussion about this, and I read about it that the father might actually be like a head in a jar, so to speak. That he's sure. that he's so old and so close to death that his body is just kept alive by a bunch of random crap. That would be interesting. Whether or not that's true, who can say? Because that's like it was on some poorly written wiki page. <laughs> that sounds reliable. Nice, nice flying jackass. Yeah. We're supposed to rendezvous with a dreadnought. Everything looks sure. okay. We got some pretty heavy firepower in the zone. Uh huh. Surely nothing will go wrong. So uh, you know we haven't encountered the cloning craft technology yet. I yeah. mean we saw the specter, but they haven't used it against us. We should have encountered Navy interference by now. I like the Dreadnought, but it's just like that single engine that doesn't seem like it's enough. And it's open fire. Yay. I'd like to point out, though, that in the next game, the engines do not burn you and destroy your shields. Mm. Thank God for that. This guy seems, is, is really laid back, but all you gotta do is destroy a Dreadnought. Way easier sure. than the faction stuff. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I get for being fancy. Return to base, pilot. Nice work. Man, I, I can't get over it. Destroyer looks so cool. Uh, this mission, if you fail that one, this one is useful. Uh, useful. This is great. The explanation behind this one is, is adorable. As League units begin to threaten Central Empire resources, be aware that Navy craft may be disguised. Mm -hmm. A rogue Navy dreadnought cloned as a League ship cloned. has been targeting battleships within the outer region. That's that's of pretty system. huge right there. Uh -huh. The like a, a full fleet craft being cloned, hologrammed as a League dreadnought. How how? For one, because there's the the, the proportions are way different. Right, they're not even close to the same shape. No. But they're gonna try to get it out of the soul system to go and like screw shit up elsewhere. That's that's also pretty damn you know interesting actually. But uh, too bad they got the color scheme wrong. 
Well, here they say it's a captured craft. Yeah. They cannot be allowed to escape. They were like, you know, how could you possibly fail at this point? So they just like, maybe it's like, yeah, whatever. Sure. But they still got the color wrong. That's, I do not approve. <laughs> we're new to this whole cloning business. And we got to That's it. Just got to destroy Bye. it. Bye. Yeah, sure. I hate the bomber. Nice work, pilot. Come aboard. Sure. Can I get treated as some expensive food, rare drinks, and exotic leisure experiences while you're at it? I think you're working for the wrong side if that's what you want. I mean, you wouldn't get that if you're working for the Navy either, because you'd just be a grunt, but... Hey, I'm I'm a son of the Strategic league. Analysis reports huh? are uh -huh. indicating large-scale disruption at the heart of the Empire Command. Attempts are now being made to obtain specific details. Leak supply chains are running consistent supplies to units threatening interplanetary zones. The regional balance of forces is favorable. Final assault initiative. Interplanetary zones is a really quite a small percentage of the solar system. Yeah, they're, they're and it gets really weird because we end up a lot closer to Earth than you think we should be at this point. Mm -hmm. And Earth is the, the final destination, of course. Sure, right. You are required to join the attack on this installation. And so this starport is, is special. Listen to this part right here. Be aware that the population of Mars remains fiercely hostile to... When I post the sole information, uh, Mars is specifically singled out as a, an extremely strange planet. Mm -hmm. This guy's a great captain. I like him. There's Mars. Um, but it's said that... It's, it's a useless planet because it's already been completely stripped of resources, but people still live there, and they are so utterly brainwashed that it's kind of used like as a propaganda thing too, but there it's it's an entirely brainwashed population living on an utterly dead world, just uh, for, and the, even the Navy doesn't understand why they're doing it, to be honest. Sure. So this starport is held in place by two sirens, and the it has a special shielding technology. All right. So uh, we're not going to be able to do anything to it. So our fleet craft is actually going to get to do something for once. Wow. So we just got to knock it out of orbit. Because that's what these tractor beams are for, I guess. That's how orbit works. Yeah, you have to have a tractor beam holding you. Yeah, there. you know, the starport's being held up. But uh, mm -hmm. if, that's, if it's so bad around here, why is our ship not getting pulled in there? Moon magic. So it actually takes a while. It actually has to do some amount of shielding damage before it happens. Okay. Yeah, fuck you too, Thundershot. You're getting pretty beat up. Bomber. Warning, starport orbit destabilizing. Yay. I want you to pay really close attention to the starport in, like, the next 40 seconds. Alright. I like how it's <laughs> still fire. It's not the flak, though. You'll see. Yeah, we're heroes, all right. Consigning uh, thousands of people to a death by crashing uh -huh. into a planet. Too bad it's not a big colony. Mobile Suit Gundam! Look, somebody launched out of there when it's about to die. Wow! I would do that. Yeah, good job, guy. Yeah, there it goes. Right in line. Takes a while. Wow, okay. That was a... That was an enormous percentage of the of the planet size. I'm assuming that didn't just explode way up high in orbit; that it actually landed there, because that thing was the size of a small continent. Look, it's a PS1 game. Distress beacon transmissions have been noted throughout oh, all this main is assault rough. fringes. This is actually kind of current cool. status reports show mass resistance at primary conflict points. Hostile destructive activity is heavy. Damage reports detail a severely impaired dreadnought orbiting Jupiter. It appears to have been attacked by an orbital cannon linked to the planet's trigger response network. Further damage would destroy this craft. Transfer to the detailed location and provide armed support to the League dreadnought. 
An enemy you know, you think in a mission like this, pull out the Hydra or something? No, I'm not done talking about how sure we just dropped a continent-sized space enough. station onto a planet. Look, if you were closer to what the What does planet. that mean about our ship? Is Are we like the size of a small island or a big island? We're like Madagascar. Whole generations of pilots have been born and raised on our fighter craft. It's okay. No wonder we don't have a name. We're just son of the league. That's like, <laughs> that's like our ethnic group. We're our own, that's where the accents come from. We're our own subculture. Damn. It all makes sense now. Somehow uh, a frigate is holding a dreadnought in place. Well, you know, those little siren things can do it all on their own. And uh, this, is, this is the problem with the mission is there's an infinite spawning number of strike cannon that's going to come in uh -huh. but it takes forever to get here so i'm so this whole mission took me like six minutes because i kept thinking i only have like a minute before it actually fires this thing takes like five minutes to get in position so all you got to do sure. is really destroy the two frigates mm -hmm. and then it'll jump out on its own and you're gonna see in a cut here that uh I, you know i kind of almost die because uh, thanks because i keep going back to these strike cannons and getting shot by flak <laughs> It's not 30 seconds, complete lie. No, you just blew up the cannon. Wow, you really don't have a lot of health. Don't worry, my, my tactic's working fine here. Uh-huh. I I'm had a going smart to note. merge with the enemy hull again. Yes, thank God that didn't happen. That would have killed <laughs> me. I like her. She sounds really, really professional. We should be able to get to safety now. Thanks for your support. Well, yeah, that, that, if you keep rushing back and forth between the strike cannons, yeah, that's mm -hmm. going to get you killed mm -hmm. fast. Sure. Damage caused by the prevalence of enemy clone ships is seriously threatening the final League advances within Seoul. Widespread confusion has been noted within the Empire's inner command corps. Good. However, in order to take full advantage of this situation, it will be necessary to secure the destruction of key clone ship manufacturing facilities. A super orbital above the surface of Mars has been verified as the clone fighter's primary source. <laughs> super. It's no ordinary orbital. No, this thing's actually massive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You'll, you'll see the scale is actually way bigger. Is it the size of a continent? Uh, it's way bigger than Mars. Like, bigger than the planet Mars, or bigger than the thing orbiting Mars? Uh, maybe not both at once, but definitely one, one, both of them each. Oh, good. I can, I'm starting to see why they needed so many resources shipped in from off-system. This is command. Target the superorbital for total destruction. This is a priority one order. Maintain radio silence. From top to bottom, it could cover up the planet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. So it's really just shoot at it a bunch until it's ready. So you're saying by its mere existence, it's badly destabilizing the thing it's supposedly orbiting. Oh yeah. Yay. I think that's the last <laughs> one. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. So I'm thinking, okay, buddy, you've got this. No, he doesn't. So I have to do it. I like the look. Nice. This is this guy. Not a frigate. You didn't say. Well, hang on. Chill out, dude. It's just frigates. They're just frigates. He's a frigate pilot. You're in. You're in a ship that's way bigger than like two other ship classes. Got nothing to worry about. Well, you wouldn't, but this is Colony Wars. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing those red missiles don't do any. Like they do zero damage if you have a shield remaining. Really? Yeah, they don't. They're, huh. they're purely for hull damage. If you have shields, sure. they don't do anything. Interesting. Frigates down. Yay! Where'd that other guy who thought he was a frigate pilot put him back on the phone? I think that was like my uh, my wingman who was dead already talking to me from beyond the grave. Also, the, the guy who's freaking out about the frigates, he might have just passed out. Who knows? Uh -huh. Sure, right. He's hyperventilating on the floor of the bridge. He's thinking he's captaining a frigate when he's really in a destroyer. Right. <laughs> well, guess what? The next video, 
we're going to take Earth. Yay! We're going to see the best ending of the game. I like Earth. Earth is is the final target, and we get to take on the Super Titan. Who would have thought that the final frontier was Earth all along? Yeah. Well, I, I, I have been Loon, and joined by Ms. Bundefund here. We'll see you then. Bye.